pop artist, but I really enjoy, you know, reggae and R&B and blues and all that, so. But most of my music is, is hip hop, so. Yeah. Um, well, I was looking on your website and I saw, it said that you had been doing music for seven years now. Yes. Um, can you tell us a little bit about when you started, why you started? Yes. So I actually started in high school when I was about 16, 17, but it wasn't until like I was actually 17 that I actually got really, you know, it, like, I drove, you know, dove into it. Mm -hmm. But, um, it all started with like poetry and stuff like that. Um, Basically, it was just an outlet for me. Um, I used to break dance, and the crew that I was break dancing with, you know, it, it ends, and I just needed another outlet. So writing and just music, and then I would just listen to like, you know, different styles and stuff like that. And then I got inspired by Missy Elliott, and I was like, why don't I just rap? You know, and that should be fun. And then it kind of just stuck with me. Nice. Yeah. Um. So. Um, where you, you're currently living in Gilroy? Yeah. And we're, so were you born there? Yeah. So how has that, um, kind of the scene here, um, influenced your music, especially just growing up here? And, um, did you feel like you saw a lot of hip hop around you when you were younger or not really? Um, not so much in Gilroy. It's yeah. pretty, like, a quiet small town. Yeah. But, I mean, <laughs> it was cool, like, at the time when I was in high school that they had that whole breakdancing thing. Um, but, yeah, as far as, like, the music scene in Gilroy kind of have to like come out and explore in order to really get you know more mm -hmm. of other music <laughs> yeah yeah definitely have you spent time like with them um, within like the Bay Area music scene or do you feel like you stay mostly in Santa Cruz area I think um, I've been more here in Santa mm -hmm. Cruz but I, it would be really cool to like explore like you know Santa you know San Francisco maybe San Diego you know just everywhere yeah, totally. yeah. Nice. Um, and you're in school right now. Yeah. What yeah. do you? Where do you go to school and what are you studying? Oh, right now I'm at Carrillo. I'm uh, doing music. Um, oh, okay. Cool. I mean, I, I already graduated from Gavilan College. Oh, okay. Um, I have two different degrees, but I just nice. figured I'm in. I, I love doing music. Might as well have a paper saying it. <laughs> you know, I'm qualified. So I'm just having fun with it. Nice. Yeah. What are your other degrees in? Uh, digital media and communications. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like those have like influenced your music um, in any way or your artistic self? Um, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I've always been like interested in visual design and just interior, like just like anything with design. Um, I design my own art, my my album covers and stuff like that. So it definitely like kind of works with me. So yeah, I wanted to ask you about that. I um, saw that you. Um, kind of do everything yourself. You do your own production. Yeah, I'm very that, DIY. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tell us about that. Um, like how being involved in every aspect of your work. Like, what's that like, and um, how is it important to you? Um, well, honestly, like it's just because like I figure if you want something done correctly, you gotta do it yourself. Totally. So that's just kind of like always been my mindset, where I just like I know what I want. So that I'm just gonna have to make it happen because nobody else is gonna do it for me. So, you know, I would, when I first started, I would just like kind of get like nonprofit beats off YouTube and stuff like that. And then later on down the line, it kind of bit me in the butt where it's like, oh, somebody bought this beat, you gotta take it down. So it's like, oh, mm -hmm. like, you know what? I'm just gonna make my own beats. Like, I enjoy making beats, so why not rap on it? And it, it really took me a while to actually rap on my own beat. So that's kind of a fun fact. Like, yeah, <laughs> it took me probably like a year or two to really get comfortable and like actually just start rapping on my own beats. Yeah. So how long were you rapping then before you started making your own beats? Um, I actually started making beats like in middle school. Not oh, okay. Lie. Like my, my friend, <laughs> he had like some weird app on it and I could just make little beats on it. And then from there, you know, I was in band and choir and stuff like that. So I was always in the creative process of making some kind of music. So, nice. and then uh, once I got influenced by, um, I saw someone using Fruity Loops and I was like, what is that? I want to make beats off of Fruity Loops. I don't know. <laughs> and then, you know, from there, it just kind of, you know, got, got me interested. Sweet. Um, speaking of beats, um, 
I saw that you were doing something called an I Am All Bars contest. Yes. Which sounds, it sounded super cool. Can you tell us a little bit about yes. like... So I really enjoy um, rap contests, you know, like I, I love just how everyone is able to just kind of put their own style and stuff like that. So I kind of just want to make my own spin off of that and just like, um, you know, do my own contest. But the thing with the I'm All Bars is like, it, at least in my circle, we're kind of feeling like nobody spits bars anymore. You know what I mean? Like there's no lyricism in, in, in rap anymore. So that's kind of like what I wanted to inspire people if they did the contest to spit bars, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Definitely. Yeah. So that's something that you kind of want to be doing more with your work is like bringing back spitting lyricism. bars and yeah. lyricism for sure. Um, well, speaking of that, so you recently released Off Top mm -hmm. um, and then right Recently, you also did LBLS. Yes. Um, so tell us about um, your new album, but also how the two are different and like what your different experiences was creating both of those projects. Okay, so LBLS came first. Um, basically, um, it, it's it's solely produced by me, mixed and mastered by me, and um, that, that was kind of like the goal for me because the past projects I would have at least like maybe two producers other than me mm -hmm. so I wanted something just to call my own like completely so that's what LVLS was that was a goal for it and um, I always like to bring different styles in you know my, my projects because there's just so many different parts to me as a person and I love so many different kinds of music so this was kind of like me like on my Bay Area kind of like you know more modern kind of sound so that's what lvls was and then off top was completely opposite so i actually worked with this guy right here kai you want to introduce yourself real quick how's it going santa cruz and everybody else who's listening this is uh kai beats kai bg nice to meet you all yeah um we actually met uh, a while back in monterey he actually came to a show and from there you know we we just had a really cool connection and we're just good friends and um, he was sending me beats and I don't know, I just, I really connected with his beats so um, it, he, he does a lot more. Or you want to tell him what well, kind of beats Yeah, I mean Off Top started off as um, kind of like, I do beat series every time I collect new vinyl from the vinyl shops. Ooh, so nice. like, I'll go digging, I'll come back with uh, 20 records make a beat series out of it. So this one was the Boom Bat beat series. So um, made probably about 12 beats out of it, but um, half of them I sent to 1AM and just saw which ones she wanted to work with because I was very, I was starting out and I was very invested in working with somebody who I could, um, you know, work with long-term as an artist and not just, you know, sell somebody a beat and then, you know, like build a relationship mm -hmm. and grow as artists together and then we could work on projects in the future mm -hmm. and, you know just take it from there so uh yeah off top um is a uh, beats by kai mixed and mastered by kai um mm -hmm. the design is uh the photography by isaias <laughs> um <laughs> and uh the raps by 1am yeah. i couldn't have done the project without 1am and you know I'm, I'm very fortunate to have worked with there is an artist. <laughs> nice. Um, so also on that project, you have features with um, both Khan and Kai BG. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us a little bit about what it was like to work with them as well? Yeah, so uh, Khan, I met him in Watsonville at, it was like a show with Reva Lunas. Have you heard of them from Watsonville? Mm -hmm. So they're, they they do a lot of cool stuff out there, but they, they hosted a show and, and Khan saw me and he's like, hey, like, you know, I'm really digging your sound. Where I met him and then I actually got to hear his music and I'm like, wow, like, dude, you got something special. Like, yeah, wow, you really so got talented. that sound. So um, we, we originally did a song before this project and I just kind of wanted to utilize his smooth, kind of flow so on this off top project we did a song called you know and it's kind of that r&b feel so mm -hmm. that it was pretty fun working with that <laughs> nice. and then what about um kai bg oh 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. How was it working with me? You tell them. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> um, yeah. How was it working together? I this ha- is a valid question. Long, you know? yeah. <laughs> yeah, I originally, I wasn't going going to rap on the project. It was mm-hmm. just going to be my beats with her rapping. But um, we were just in the studio one day, and I was like, I don't, I don't have a verse, dude. Like, yeah. why? Like, I thought you had a verse. <laughs> So then, you know, we just cranked it out, got it recorded, and then, you know, finished up the project. Nice. Yeah. It felt right, though, like, if because if you listen to the whole project in order, the song before that is kind of like our response to it. So it's kind of funny how that turned out without even really, like, mm-hmm. knowing it. So it, it really worked out all the way. <laughs> Do you have a favorite track on the album? Um, I really enjoy, I have two, I mean, Mm -hmm. the the two I'm going to perform tonight. Up Top, that was the first track that inspired this whole project, and then My Heart is a very, like, special song to me, and then I really love performing it and, you know, seeing everyone's reaction to it, so Up Top and My Heart. Have you gotten um, a lot of chances to perform yet, or? So far, I think it's... Three shows? Okay, that's pretty well, good. We've been performing nice. off top yeah. since before the release. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're getting so, that, so. Like that? I don't know. We perform that one. You, well, you perform that yeah, one a lot I of times. Yeah, I perform. I'm just hype man and you. <laughs> <laughs> off top. <laughs> I think it was last year, too. The end of last year, so. But, yeah, it's been really fun. Yeah. Response mm-hmm. and that's that's nice. nice. You know, it's good. Nice. And you're selling CDs at most of the shows, or yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. We have we always have CDs on deck, so nice. Yeah. Have you thought about doing any merch? <laughs> yeah. Do you have any? Merch? I actually do. I'm actually wearing some right now. Oh, nice. this is a. You know, is it? Oh, that's so yeah. sick. I d- I design <laughs> a lot of stuff, but um, it's just you know we gotta save some. Some sh- money for it, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, but we we have some hats and I got stickers and stuff like that. But I eventually, I do want to get back into hoodies and shirts mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So definitely in the works. Nice. Well, where are we on the um, instrumentals? Um, we're getting we're having some technical um, a process <laughs> before we get the performance. But <laughs> I think we're getting for <laughs> sure. Um, I also saw on your website that you have a ton of shows coming up. Oh, yeah. Do you want to talk about any of them? Any specifically you're looking forward to or um, most any definitely. very soon? Um, first, real quick, I just want to say thank you to everyone in the Santa Cruz community for like having me because like once you guys brought me in, it's like, wow, I really feel like I'm home now. It's, it's really love out here. Mm-hmm. Um, but let me see. The most... Hmm. Well, I got got the Misty City show in Aptos and that is at I can't remember the name it's a the therapy place <laughs> but it's gonna be like an art show and stuff like that and that one's gonna be really cool which day is that April 13th okay. I do have your um website up so I can actually say it's at the Alliance Physical Therapy Studio yes. <laughs> yes. I'm super excited for that nice cool that'll be super do you have a show that you've played that was just the most fun show Hmm. I think it'd have to be between either the Misty Mountain Show and Aptos. Mm-hmm. It was at um, DJ Space Cadet's house, and he threw like this big old like get together, and like it was just really cool. Like everyone had their art, everyone got to perform. You know, everyone was networking and stuff like that. And then the second show probably had to be in Watsonville at the Appleton Grill. It was like our show that we put on. My boyfriend put on a show for us mm-hmm. and um, all our family and friends got came out and my mom came on and stuff like that. So it was really awesome. That sounds super fun. How long ago was that? That was, that was the last year? That was August 11th. Oh, wow. Right. Wow. Right. No, I know this Impressive. one. That was like the debut for Kai, yo. Like yeah. I owe it to you yeah. guys yes. for that one. Yeah. Yes, that's right. That one was crazy. That, that show was lit. Yeah. So, have said. you guys worked together? Um, bef- you haven't worked together before the most recent album, or have you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> really. Yeah. I mean, we're just kind of getting a feel for each other, you know. Yeah, yeah, like, totally. You know, I like to respect people's boundaries and stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear beats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, so going back to you know performing live, 
what would your what do you think your ideal live show would look like would you like to play in like a huge stadium or would it be like an intimate club or mm. a music festival <laughs> to me honestly i think it's if the people know my songs that makes it the mm -hmm. best i don't even care if there's like four people if they all know the song and they're singing it with me i think that makes it the best but it would be really cool to perform at like a big festival i've never really you know i've done a lot of like intimate shows so i think it would be a good challenge for me to kind of come out of my shell mm -hmm. and to come perform for like a big crowd yeah <laughs> totally do you know what the biggest crowd you think you've performed in front of do you know? I think probably like 80, 80, a little bit over 80. Oh, that's pretty big. At our yeah. show, there was about 80. <laughs> yeah. But Selena's uh, The Speakeasy, that was about 80, oh, a little yeah. bit more. Selena's Speakeasy, okay. they, have, they have the speakeasies out there and they just get really big. Yeah. Sweet. All right, well, are we getting the, the go-ahead? So we're going to listen to one of the songs that you've already released um, while we get the audio sorted out. For, okay. Like the instrumental sorted out. Right on. So we're gonna do Wonder Why, if that's alright. Okay. Do you have any anything you want to say about this song before we play it? Um, this is definitely a dark song for me. Just um, you know, struggling with accepting death because I come from a very religious like family, and um, they don't really like to think of death as a bad thing. They try to like say you know rejoice and stuff, but as like a human being, it's really hard to just be happy. Sometimes you. You know, you're angry at death, so it's kind of like the background of it. Cool. Well, yeah. we'll get right into it. Am I good? Yeah. Okay. So uh, this song is called My Heart, and basically it's about how hip-hop was always there for me, and it's kind of just like an ode to hip-hop. Cool. Are you ready? I'm ready. Uh. 
incredible. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. And those of you that um, didn't know, that was 1 a.m. and that was just live in studio. Yeah, um, I have a question. I was wondering, um, could you tell us a little bit about your songwriting process? Um, like, do you have a special snack you like to do? Is there a time of, you, is there a time of day that you really like to write songs? 1 a.m. Like <laughs> really? Well, then tell us. Well, it actually started like when I was in high school. Um, I would stay up all night, like just working on music, and you know, I'd go to school tired and stuff. I'd, I'd, it'd be, it'd really start like around 12 ish, and then I wouldn't start recording until like about one, mm -hmm. and then I wouldn't finish until like four or five. But um, as far as my writing process, it kind of just switches up depending on my mood. Like sometimes I want to vibe to the beat, sometimes I have stuff already that I have to say, and I just you know build a beat around it or find something for that but um most of the time it's kind of just i go off feeling you know mm -hmm. so so is that your namesake 1 a.m or is there another reason for 1 a.m yes yeah, so it. um it's, it's part of it so before i was 1 a.m i used to go by og chucks <laughs> nice <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know and uh but it, it stood for only god can help us here keep saying so I always like to connect my name with God just because I'm very spiritual. So when I am, it reminds me of I am, you know, mm -hmm. God in the Bible said I am, you know, so it kind of just, it just feels right, you know, so yeah. All right, well, we're going to get right back. Are you ready to do your next track? Yeah. 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 Ready? You need a hype yeah. man 1 a.m. You want to be my hype man? You want some hype <laughs> Yeah, here, we'll, we'll get my earphones. Going through life, I'll be going off top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, going through life, I'll be going off top. Living life freestyle, non-stop. The kid too young, Mac Dre going dumb. Spin around the world till I have my fun. Okay, going through life, I'll be going off top. Living life freestyle. Non stop, the kid too young, Mac Dre going dumb. Spin around the world until I have my fun. Okay, it's that feel good music, or else we lose it. Somebody gotta do it, so I'm gonna use it. Life too short to be thinking about the past. Every day is a lesson, so people skip a class. I swear to you, it's true, you know what you gotta do. Forgive and forget, moving on the avenue, cause it's you, it's you, you the one with the power. Life could be sweet, but hate makes it sour. Days, numbers, check them off the calendar. Meditate, regulate, purple haze, lavender. Somebody told me my thoughts change reality. Something about a third eye is what they be telling me. Discovering yourself is the greatest thing of all. Climbing up the ladder, one day you're gonna fall. Following the crowd, somebody's gonna start standing up to the world. You were never too small. Yeah, going through life, I'll be going off top. Living life freestyle, non stop. The kid too young, Mac Dre going dumb. Spin around the world until I have my fun. Okay, going through life, I'll be going off top. Living life freestyle, non stop. The kid too young, Mac Dre going dumb. Spin around the world until I have my fun. Okay, the world can get rough. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. It's all about attitude and how you go with the flow. I take it day by day, never worry about tomorrow Cause it may never come, time is never yours to borrow Before you judge, please put yourself in some shoes There's more to life than self, it ain't all about you These are the things that'll help you move smooth I only live once, tell me what you gotta lose It's the four, the three, the three to the two One a.m., no lies, spitting knowledge at you How many cats you know who straight lyrics overflow I only ride high on the ground for show Feel the good vibes right, let me hear you one time say yeah I'll be going off top, living life freestyle, non-stop. The kid too young, Mac Dre going dumb. Spin around the world till I have my fun. Okay, going through life, I'll be going off top. Living life freestyle, non-stop. The kid too young, Mac Dre going dumb. Spin around the world till I have my fun. Okay.
amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. All right, that was just um, it's for 1 a.m. live in the studio with her new song off top. Thank you so much. Um, all right, so you just, I know you just released new things, but I guess it's never too soon to ask. What's next for 1AM? Are you thinking you're going to, um, a world tour? <laughs> What's next in your plan? Well, um, I definitely want to travel more this year, so anybody out there listening, if you want, you know, to hit me up, <laughs> let me know. I'll come through to a show. Let's, let's network. But, Book um, 1AM for your show. I highly recommend it. <laughs> it's good for your health. Where can they find you? Book 1 a.m. for your show, yeah, I promise. Yeah, definitely call me up. Um, but uh, I, I definitely want to travel more. But as far as music and the summer stuff, and I definitely have a project already in the works. Um, it's called Window. Ooh. And it's uh, kind of like a lo-fi acoustic hip-hop kind of it's a different vibe. But uh, nice. yeah, it's going to be towards the end of the year. And uh, as far as that goes... Yeah, that's pretty much what I have in the works. Cool. I just want to make sure our listeners know where to find your music because I really enjoyed what just happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in case y'all didn't know, that was live in studio. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Again, <laughs> live. <laughs> live. <laughs> so anyways, where can people find your music? So you can find it all at iam1am.com. And 1am is spelled with the number one. Okay, cool. Is it on like other platforms? Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my bad. It's it's in uh, iTunes, all the streaming platforms basically. Um, Off top and LVLS and uh, Silent Thoughts. Those are the most recent ones that are on. As far as if people want to go digging through my music, definitely go check out my website. I have a ton of tapes. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I checked out her website earlier and lots of other fun things to look at too. You can see all the people that submitted to the I'm All Bars contest, oh, which yeah. is really fun. <laughs> so, Shout out to everyone who did that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I have a few other random questions that I can ask you. This is not really going with the flow here, but some, some questions I like to ask people like... Um, if you could collaborate with any artist, dead or alive, who would it be? Uh, <laughs> oh, Choose man. wisely, one hand. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> no, <laughs> give us a whole list. I want to hear all of them. Well, I love Aaliyah. Uh, Aaliyah for sure. Because I don't... at first you don't succeed. No. So you dust yourself off and you try, try again. again. Yeah, uh, Aaliyah for sure. Um, Mac Miller for sure. Um, man. I I'd be down to do a song with Mac Dre. <laughs> <laughs> I love Mac Dre if you can't tell. I know. I noticed you shouted him out in one of your songs. Yeah, yeah. I love Mac Dre. Um, I, I, that's all I can think of right now. I'm kind of like. My mind's a little <laughs> out of it, but that's it. for sure, those are like my top. Nice. Yeah. What about like location? Any dream locations? I know I kind of asked that before, but maybe you like really want to play Madison Square Garden. Oh, wow. <laughs> or, you know, or maybe a certain like country that you would love to yeah. play, something like that. Um, I would definitely love to perform in Spain and mm -hmm. Italy for sure, because those are very beautiful places. Um, I think it would be cool to come out to Africa and perform out there. Um, France for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. All right, well, again, this has been um, 1 a.m. up live here in KZSC Santa Cruz. We are Queen Beats. Um, I think I have, no, I have no more other questions, but if y'all have anything else that I can ask about that you want to shout out anyone, anything, um, please let us know. And we will close out on um, a song of your choice. So if you have a song that you want to play. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, well, for sure, I want to shout out literally every single person who supports my music because you guys make it happen there's no words that i can express just how much love i have for you guys so shout out to you guys for listening and um shout out to kai shout out to my boyfriend isaias he's always been supportive of me killing it as cameraman right now yeah, he's my cameraman he's my promoter he's he's a really good guy um shout out to my mom Shout out to Space Cadet, Lou, all the Santa Cruz crew, Con. Um, 
Shout out to Yasmin. Uh, shout out to my cousin Hannah. I don't know if she's listening, but I told her. <laughs> shout out to you being a firefighter in LA. Um, and shout out to you guys for having me. I of appreciate course. it. Thank you so much for coming on. here. It's yeah. really cool in here. <laughs> And um, this this um, episode of Queen Beats is archived for two weeks on RadioFreeAmerica.com. So anyone who's listening, if you want to hear that live performance one more time or hear her answers to um, all of our questions, that's RadioFreeAmerica.com. Go search up PZSC as a station, and you can access Queen Beats. We'll be on the calendar there for a date. So, um, did you have a song that you decided to close out on? I can play anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> be alright. Right. I think be alright would be a good close out. Alright, so everyone can chill to that. <laughs> Sounds good. Thank you so much for coming on. It's been a pleasure to have you up. Um, I'm gonna play be, be alright right now. Alright.